All right, real quickly here, I had some leftover uh, couscous. It just has a little bit of salt and pepper. It was cooked with a little salt and olive oil while I boiled. It's got some organic, oh, hold on, organic green onion. Okay, so organic green onion, um, and it had some fresh uh, organic basil in it as well. Not from my garden, but from the store. Um, so I put it over this kind of lettuce. I'm not even sure what it is. It's just organic stuff that I buy. I don't know what the name of that kind of lettuce is. Um, and then I have some organic raspberries. The blueberries aren't organic. The tomatoes aren't organic. Um, everything, including the raspberries are, and blueberries and tomatoes, are um, washed in water, soaked in water and vinegar for a few minutes and then rinsed off and everything. Um, what else do I have in here? I think that's it, right? Mm there this big thing was only like four or five dollars and it was the only choice I had and I haven't had them in last year so you just wash them real good when you can I'm going to show you real briefly what I got going on in the in my indoor garden and you can um you know do your own thing but this is a nice little fresh alkaline meal one meal a day uh, as raw as you can when you can I do eat stuff cooked vegan stuff but um it's mostly raw stuff and you know you use plant protein replacement meals and green grass juices and, and all kinds of good stuff like that um, and what else can I tell you buy what's only recyclable um, these number ones uh, they might not even be taking these anymore these clamshells um, which is really going to be a pain in the neck because I've never seen fruit in anything other than these kind of containers so they don't take three four five sixes and sevens they don't take well they do take ones and twos and they take cans and glass um, they don't take any cardboard boxes at my place for the last two years other than shipping boxes that means no snack boxes no cracker boxes cookie boxes pizza boxes anything like that so do your best to only eat one meal a day get yourself trained um, grow your own food non-gmo organic um, veganism as best you can um, organic and non-gmo as best you can recycling as best you can not just food on all levels and everything and um, start growing your own food. So I'm going to show you real briefly what, I, what I've been doing. Okay, so this is a dwarf blueberry. Um, had it since last year. And um, the indoor garden stuff you see is since October 20, 2021. It's June 5th, 2022. And everything's going well. I had already harvested some things and now new things are growing. These are dwarf blueberries. Out here on my balcony there's um, mint, wild mint, raspberry, and then there's like um, different kinds of lettuces. and radishes and more lettuces and stuff like that and then a whole bunch of herbs down there I'm starting outside and um, I, did I tell you that in the middle was a no thorn raspberry that green pot all right we got dill I gotta move fast my camera might go out trying some melons got uh, potatoes golden little potatoes some tomatoes um, these are just flowers and stuff the weather is really nuts this year really nuts here's a ton of strawberries start out with four to six and they make babies um, so that baby will be number 29 since October. Four to six of them turning into 29. Okay, some more tomatoes, tomatoes, uh, yellow peppers. Oh, I forgot about my mayonnaise. I got to be careful. And then um, uh, red bell peppers, which you can harvest as green as you want. See the baby mayonnaise? Doesn't focus that well. Oop, there he is. There's another one too. So he's taking care of some of the aphids. Not much. They don't need a lot, but there's... There was three, now there's only two mantises, I don't know where they went. There is some long silver cucumber-like eggplant, it's like a silvery um, light purple. And these are some cucumbers, and I'm doing, that's not, that's a flower that grew. This is some Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, they're brand new, I'm trying that. Celery, celery, carrots, social garlic, real quickly, Roma organic non-GMO tomato I got last year in like April, I ate it. Um, a handful of them and then I use the seeds and I keep using the seeds over and over same thing with that organic non-gmo red bell pepper ate them use the seeds over and over again so don't, you can do all that kind of stuff as far as the rack system three feet 16 inches six feet high five adjustable shelves white black or um, chrome and you can see 16 inches is pretty deep that is a five gallon bucket and those are eight inch round pots so you can see it works well the grow lights are white but they're actually red and blue spectrum and they're from seed to fruit and as you see all different things are growing well they're two feet long four inches by three inches um, they're anywhere between thirty and forty dollars on Walmart online but you can get them fifty to fifty five elsewhere so if you get them at forty you're still doing well 
they plug into each other and, and they work really, really well. So you can have a system, a rack like this, two or three like I have, and it's not that expensive at all. You're looking at $63 total tax. The light could be anywhere between 30 and 40 a piece. Um, they're two feet long, but they're working really, really awesome. Maybe you can add a rack system anywhere from 150 to 200, depending on how many shelves and how many lights you want to do. All right, let's go. More strawberries, more strawberries. There's another baby. That's what the baby will turn into. Um, that's how they flower. And a whole bunch of another Snapdragon grew in there. Um, here's what they look like when they start fruiting after the flower. That one's a little odd shaped. Um, here's a whole bunch of them. And here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And then these herbs, these are like basils and cilantros and parsleys. Uh, the dill was out in the other room, and that's just some wildflowers that are growing. All right. All right, so I hope that inspires you. One meal a day, uh, veganism, recycle and buy only what you need, a non-GMO organic, and do your best to eat as raw as possible. Um, and, uh, you know, growing your own food and stuff is really awesome and fun. And eventually, like I said, I'm in the process of learning how to keep it all going, keep it all going. Um, I have a real awesome lettuce outside. It's about bigger than this. It's a red romaine. It's the best one I ever grew so far. I'm giving it one more day, and then I'm going to harvest that. So, yeah, you can do a lot of stuff. And as you can see, um, on a second-floor apartment, I can do all this. All right? Lots of love to you all. Bye-bye.